Okay, so uh, do one more example for 2D uh, equilibrium conditions. Uh, so, and I'll show you a trick as we go through. So the situation we've got here is an eight kilogram mass supported three different ways. Uh, it's also got that pulley with a hundred millimeter radius, and we want to figure out what the reaction is at A in each case. So uh, if we go for that, uh, probably the first thing we want to be doing is we want to be uh, figuring out what the weight is here. So we've got eight kilogram forces. Uh, sorry, 8 kilogram masses. Those are being pulled down by gravity at a particular acceleration. We call that G. So 8 kilograms times 9.81 9 uh, meters per second squared. That gives us a weight of uh, 78.5 newtons. So next thing to do, let's uh, start drawing some free body diagrams here. So we'll use the We'll use this situation here first. Uh, so that is going to have, we're going to have a bar here. That is a fixed connection at the end, uh, A. So that is going to fix connections in 2D. They have an X component. They have a Y component and they have a moment reaction. So we got that, and we got this weight here. So if we, oh, and uh, we should also uh, label our axes here. X, Y, pause the same axis system I'd expect you guys would have uh, assumed I was using to begin with, but anyways. So, uh, first things first, sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero. Only one there is ax. So, that is zero. We'll just cross that out. Actually, I'll erase it. There we go. It's zero. I'm not going to have it on there. So, the next one sum of the forces in the y direction. Now it's going to be equal to zero, which is equal to a y minus 78.5 newtons, which means that a y is equal to 78.5 newtons upwards, upward reaction. Some of the moments, so we're going to have a moment react, reaction there too. So the sum of the moments, let's take the sum of the moments about A. All right, so the moment from uh, the weight here is based upon the distance, 1.6 meters from here to here. So we got uh, uh, positive 1.6 meters displacement, the negative uh, uh, 78.5 newtons, and then we have this moment applied here. The Ay doesn't contribute to the moment taken about A. Oh, actually here, wait. Um, I'm going to say some of the moments at A. is equal to zero, because we also have this moment A, the, the moment reaction uh, at A. So the sum of the moments at A, is, we got the negative 1.6 times 78.5, you know, 1.6 meters, and actually let's do that a bit more cleanly. plus the moment at A. The AY does not contribute to the moment taken about A because its line of action passes through A. 
So simple enough to, cal to calculate there. MA is equal to whatever that happens to be when we add it to the other side. So 1.6 times 28.5, that's going to be 125.6 Newton meters. So that's our reaction there. Uh, so that's that's all we need to solve for uh, uh, for that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over to this one here uh, real quick. Uh, and what we can do is yeah, if we're, if we're looking at this. Now we got a pulley here. And we know that the tension in that pulley is going to be our 78.5 newtons. So we can take those two forces and we can just replace those two forces with one single force acting immediately in between them that is equal to double the, the magnitude of those forces. So that'll be 157 newtons. So a free body diagram for that could be represented with 157 newtons. And then we're going to have again a a Y reaction, and we're going to have a moment reaction. Uh, again, we could have an AX reaction here, but that's going to end up being zero. Now, as for the magnitudes of that, uh, essentially, uh, this situation here that we're looking at here is exactly the same as this situation here, except the load at the end is doubled. So from the perspective, from the perspective at of the support at A, everything's the same, but the load is doubled. So therefore, the reactions will be doubled. So here, uh, essentially, the A Y ends up being uh, 157 instead of instead of that, and our MA, that's going to end up being double that, so that'll be 251, 251.2 uh, Newton meters. So that, uh, that's, a, that's a, a relatively simple way to, to compare the two situations. Next, let's move on to this one here. Now what I'd like to do, I can't, uh, I can't do. Okay, so we got this one here, which means that when we draw our uh, got a rod, got the pulley. That's oh, a y, not a x. So essentially, what we're doing, we got a free body diagram that looks something like this. Now, uh, the placement of these two forces is somewhat awkward. But the thing that, that you need to keep in mind is that uh, essentially, when you are talking a static situation, uh, and you have a pulley, if you have a force going like this, 
and a force going like this, then that means that when you take moments about the center of that pulley, the net, and assuming we're in static equilibrium, which we will be for this course, because that's the point of this course, uh, the net moment that these forces are exerting on the pulley is zero. So, uh, essentially, what we, what we can do is we can basically replace these two forces with a system that looks like that. Uh, same, same magnitude, same direction, just acting through the centroid. So bas basically what we're doing is we can take this force and replace it with a force couple system at this point and take this force and replace it with, oh sorry, I realize you can't really see my see the cursor. We can take this force here and replace it with force couple system acting at this point, and we can take, uh, acting at the center, we can take this force here and replace it with force couple system acting here, and the, the couples added uh, together at, that po at those points, they cancel out. They're equal and opposite. So shifting this shifting this force down to here would cause a moment, but and shifting this force over to here would cause a moment, and they cause equal and opposite moments. Another way of possibly looking at, at, at that would be to say if uh, you know you had you've got forces like this. Uh, essentially, you could kind of look at that as as, as Say replacing these this this force with an equivalent force that acts kind of at a point in space on the same line of action. So essentially, kind of taking this and moving it to here, and doing the same thing with the other one. Because we can shift, we can shift stuff along the line of action. That we can take those, we can combine them into a resultant that goes like this, and then we can take that resultant. That resultant is going to be pointed at the center of the pulley, and then we can take that resultant and place it at the center of the pulley. And then we can just take that resultant and then break it up again into its individual uh, x and y components, and we just you know we've done the same thing. So I'd like to point out uh, this works kind of regardless of the angles that you're working. At. You can have you can have a pulley system that uh, is like this. And essentially, uh, all you need to do is you need to figure out what the x and y components of these two forces are. You know, this, 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 and then add them together. In this instance, these two are going to cancel out, and you're going to get something like that. That those that's equivalent. So basically, you just need to f uh, you need to find the resultant of the uh, of the uh, of the of the forces caused uh, uh, of of the, f the sorry. You need to find the resultant. Of the two tensions added together, and you can apply that resultant at the center of the pulley, which basically means we got this uh, we got this pulley, pulley system here. We don't actually need to know that it's a hundred millimeter radius. The fact that it's a hundred millimeter radius is basically completely irrelevant to us. We would get the same reaction at a regardless of of what the actual radius of this pulley is. 
So uh, let's let's actually do those calculations. Uh, so essentially, uh, all right. So we got our support here. Got a pulley here. I'm not going to draw that quite as large. So 78.5 newtons, 78.5, not 78.5 newton, 78.5 newton. Here, do, do, do. So I'm going to draw an equivalent uh, system, for a free body diagram for an equivalent system. Seventy eight point five Newtons, seventy eight point five Newtons, reaction at A in the X direction, reaction at A in the Y direction, and the moment at A. Okay, so what do we got there? <coughs> Well, forces in the x direction, uh, those are simple enough to calculate. Ax minus 78.5 newtons is equal to zero. Well, Ax, therefore, is equal to 78.5 newtons. So yeah, I guess I guessed right in what direction it'd be acting. Ay, I'm pretty sure you can get you can guess by now what Ay is going to be. Seventy-eight point five newtons zero. Therefore, hey, Ay is equal to seventy-eight point five newtons. It's a terrible looking equal sign. And then our moment about A. Uh, so, the sum of the moments at A is equal to MA. And again, uh, AX and AY don't come into things because they pass through A. Same thing for the vert, for the horizontal uh, portion there. That one cancels out because it passes through A. So we're just left with the 78.5 Newton downward force. So again, that is taken, taken from here. That's going to have a tendency to cause a clockwise rotation, which is negative. Newtons times the one point. What was it? what was that distance? One point six. Yeah, one point six meters. Oh, one point six meters. So MA ends up being same thing we had calculated previously. That's uh, yeah. 125.6 newton meters, and that's uh, that's how you do that. So so yeah, uh, the the police. You you you're, you're gen yeah, you're generally going to want to uh, be replacing uh, force systems around pulleys with just the equivalent uh, resultant forces acting at the center of the pulley. Because uh, again, it's it's if it's in static equilibrium, there's no net moment about the pulley. Otherwise, the pulley would be spinning and the the rope would be moving. So yeah, we're good there.